Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, it's working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six because I have yours. Um, Dance with love is at the bottom of the deck. So we're going to go ahead and use that. These cards fell down. And that is how we're going to take those. You guys, again, I can't stress enough to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Notification. A risky journey. Inseparable. Romance. Sadness. Trapped. Opposites attract. And hurtful behavior. So you have been dealing with a situation that has caused you to do a dance of love. This, to me... A dance of love is a back and forth, uh, you know, back and forth, back and forth, 360, twin flame, you know, type energy. Not necessarily twin flame, but the energy of you actually trying to get things, um, you know, get people in a cohesive unit or to see things in a like-minded situation where it's just the back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, that's my bracelet. It's just the back and forth, back and forth, and it's just a hard pill to swallow. So when it comes to the hurtful situation, romance, and love, we're going to pull from the love uh, situation deck to see what comes out. You guys, um, I miss you. I'm, I'm trying to come on as, as much as possible. I will be back all the way. Um, I did. Sorry, I did graduate. Yeah, you cut it out and chaser yeah you were chasing the situation remember i said back and forth back and forth yeah chasing the situation all around the, uh, all around them yeah so you were chasing the situation and it turned out to either be in your best interest or not but you had to go in separation mode in order for you to refigure out what it is it says leaving before it gets worse and again opposites to track you felt trapped you felt sad it was a journey that you were going back and forth on and now here it is it's somebody in their hurtful uh, behaviors that causes your energy to change bottom of the deck believe implement and solve so you had to solve the problem by walking away from the things that no longer serve you sometimes it's easier said than done but when it comes to you being on a spiritual journey and understanding that you know no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher uh this person placed yeah fear fear fell down and it's in the reverse hold on yeah, fear fell down and it's in the reverse. So it says in the upright, face and fears, which is an illusion of the mind, allows you to simply experience what is without reservation nor expectation. So you let go of fear and at the bottom of the deck, uh, guidance from spirit. You ask your spirit guides to help you get through this situation because, again, it says, yes, did you smile today? You're not frowning you're not crying anymore you're moving forward and moving forward sometimes causes you to have to be strong and uh, being strong isn't easy um yeah so a guidance from your spirit guide you had to ask and there are incoming messages coming in so you have done everything that you could in this situation and when it comes to dealing with certain people and places and cutting out the drama and understanding no matter if it's opposites attracts you feel like it's a twin flame type energy you have to be able to want to be successful yeah and let go that's the only way that you'll be successful is if you let go from the of the things that no longer set, serve you and understand why you had to do that which is at the bottom of the deck yeah traveling moving forward you had to be able to move forward from the situation and sometimes it's easier said than done and so you have to ask your guides for help when it comes to letting go of the things that no longer serve you walking away um and which is the eight of cups type energy look at all these cars that just keep flying over bottom of the deck is high priestess yeah subconscious mind it says bridge between the worlds divine feminine sacred wisdom inner knowing it says diving deep illumination and higher self along with all the other cards that come out which at the top of it is a ten of swords, dead end breakthrough, knight of cups energy, you know, unrequited love, or this is somebody who was a heartbreaker, manipulative disappointment. You had revoked offers and obsessed with knight of cups in the reverse. Four of cups is uncluttered life. So yeah, four of cups in the reverse. You had to unclutter your life in order for you to the death card. Yeah, in things that no longer serve you. But I'll start at the beginning. I hope you guys can see it because 
Um, I have it minimized. Oh, there you go. So we have the full energy. It says new beginnings. You had to take a leap and become a free spirit. And then the three of wands, a lack of foresight. The three of wands is in the reverse. You weren't able to see what was going to happen. And then the nine of wands in the reverse, choosing your battles. You chose to choose your battles instead of living in fear. Four swords energy is time for non-action. So instead of you keep trying to make things work, like I said, right, and um, trying to make things stick together and hold together like glue chariot in the reverse blocked obstacles you had to look at the things that were blocking the obstacles in the seven of cups um is many possibilities you have the ability to be able to change the things that you know maybe some people can't change but you have to really look at things and and see uh that is something better out there you know you have to trust your intuition because the nine of swords in the upright tells you you're in mental anguish and um prepare re prepare for change and it says the autumn the autumnal equinox and it says timing a few months make long-term plans express gratitude harvest fall and then it says seven of wands licking your wounds so you had to understand the seven of wands coming in the reverse uh made you have to avoid the conflicts that were coming and also be able to compromise with yourself it says and, and back down not trying to fight this energy anymore um live in fight or flight mode none of those things you know and it's like you realize that it's a lost cause the two of coins energy in the reverse is like planning and execution so again getting out of fear letting go and planning an execution, you know, because at some point you have to realize that there were poor choices that you made. The Knight of Coins energy is a lack of direction. There was a lack of direction in the situation, the Three of Coins, that uh, when it comes to doing things together, the collaborations just weren't there. And so, you know, co-managing things, team synergy, you need that type of energy around you in order for you to be successful. But the Ace of Coins in the reverse is unstable situations that causes delays with the world energy being here it just lets you know that it's the end of a chapter you know completion is there you know um and you had to understand it says a sense of belonging you had to find out where you belong the knight of wands energy my drake energy it's in the reverse being in the reverse is just telling you that right now you're just taking a leap no more fear you're letting go full energy you're taking a leap and you're just you know not really worried about it it's an arrogant leap that's how you kind of feel but the solar eclipse we just had one of those it says um big changes are coming you know it says transformation and cosmic triggers so this was triggering you maybe it was time for you to see the beauty in yourself the empress energy the divine feminine and to be able to create and nurture and just still mother the situation or to love the situation but from a distance and that's where the eight of coins energy comes in at in the reverse because this was causing you to feel like bored and complacent and you know um, like things were just over and over again the 360 cycle of need and change eight of swords energy you know it's like in the reverse you had to release the limiting beliefs that you had and that's a part of understanding that no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher we have the three of swords energy oh and that's in the reverse overcoming the, the um sadness and healing and releasing and letting go of the things that no longer serve you because in the five of swords it says not by the rules they weren't playing by the rules you know five of swords is ego type energy and it says it was conflicted and things like that so when it comes to this situation you have to understand that you know it's like it says abusive here a plot twist it wasn't in your in your favor so it was like hurtful behavior that they were doing but the six of coins energy caused you to just hold on to that energy and accept the things that you couldn't change and now it's like you're looking at things in a different light and being able to end things that no longer serve you coming back into a full 360 completion to where you're not fearing the change you're changing your energy you know and cutting out the drama and the ne unnecessary things and it's a new start it's a break over you're over and out it says the four coins energy is just letting you know the uncluttering life is that the four coins in the reverse it's like you less is more you know you're reevaluating everything your priorities and the knight of cups energy is unrequited love like i said in the reverse though it's dealing with the heartbreaker and manipulated uh manip manipulative person manipulative person sorry and and living in disappointment and it says revoked offer and obsessed because again the ten of swords being here it's the final chapter of this situation and so with the final chapter you have to be able to be the one to make the decision to move forward and walk away so 
that is what the dance of love is. It's like, okay, what did you learn from this situation, which is at the bottom of the deck, the dance of love, that you were chasing a situation that, you know, yeah. Um, did you smile today? You had to be able to believe in yourself and solve and implement problems. And so that is where you had to ask your spirit guides for guidance. It says you are in a tough situation and spirit is ready to offer guidance if you just ask. So you had to ask your spirit guides in order for you to understand what this real dance of love is. It's for you to trust in your intuition and to see the beauty within yourself and also understand the opposites do attract. The opposites attract that bad boy, good, uh, you know, good girl or bad girl, good guy energy or, you know, however it is makes you feel trapped and sad. And also, it's a risky journey for you to take because it's not the same reciprocation of love and it causes you to live in fear more than and, and to be afraid to lose the person because of the love, the romance or the love that you have envisioned in your head. You see, it makes sense. And that's where the hurtful behavior starts because you envision and you see potential in certain situations and you become the chaser unwillingly, unknowingly. Um, and that is where you have to be able to be the change that you need to be in regards to dealing with certain situations like this, if that makes sense. And so there you have it. That is how I see 11-11 on the clock. That could mean something to somebody. The breakup oracle deck is what I'll use. Hold on. Yeah, you have to be able to really see what it is that, you know, somebody is, is doing to hurt you whether intentionally or not, they're not ready. And so that's why you have to, yeah, they will call. Yeah, they're not ready and unfazed. Yeah, they're, it says I'm unfazed by our separation since I wasn't emotionally invested. See, you deal with certain situations and you see certain things. But once you remove your energy, understand this. Once you remove that unconditional love, that high priest is trusting your intuition, trusting and seeing the beauty in somebody else and uh, having to let go, they will call. So that is when they feel like they're unfazed and that they can be unchanged. It says, I am I am who I am, not who you want me to be. I'm not going to change. And so once you remove this energy and really understand and they see the coldness that you can be, they will call. But right now they're unfazed and they have to go through a separation phase um, and get out of this hurtful energy and understand that, you, you know, you weren't there to hurt anyone and you have to learn the lesson of no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. And so this person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And that is a lesson of knowing when to cut out the negative energy and bullshit. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.